Story 1. My girlfriend, 19 female, comes up with an open relationship proposal out of the blue and then ghosts me, 19 male. This is a throwaway account. We've been in an exclusive relationship for nine months or so and dating for over a year. I believe that it can be objectively said that we had a really good time together and were satisfied with each other in all domains. I think we were mature, intimately compatible, and emotionally supportive to each other. We were planning on the possibility of moving in together later on in this year during the winter break. I have dated more casually before, but this has been different. I feel like I have not had a deeper connection with anyone prior. Long story short, a few months back, both of us got accepted into some different colleges in the U.S. as internationals. We knew this dynamic would introduce distance in our relationship. However, before coming here, we discussed in length how we both feel like what we have is special and we are committed to making this work. The first few weeks go by, and it seems to be working out fine. Then, all of a sudden, she feels like conclusively she sees me as her definite long-term partner, but because she lacks having a lot of prior experience, she doesn't want me to be the last guy she has been with, and she wants to explore. I was hurt by the idea of my partner proposing the idea of being physically involved with other people. A few days later, she tells me that she loves me, but she doesn't know if she feels a spark anymore. Our relationship has been really adventurous, and I meant that in the most non-cliché manner. And now, it's a dynamic of us having online calls. I told her that I think that open relationships are manageable for people, but I feel like at this point in our interaction, it would not make sense to go back in intimacy. I told her that I think that transitioning into an open relationship would make me feel resent for her, make it harder for me to trust her, and make it harder for me to know that I can rely on her later on. Meaning, I told her that even though there is nothing wrong with open relationships per se, I feel like it doesn't fit our context, and it would decrease the likelihood of us ever being in an exclusive relationship again in the future. I also voiced my desire to not be treated as a backup plan. We took a one-week break after that since we did not want to make any final calls. I reached out to her during the weekend, we exchanged a few texts, and I sent her a voice recording. I told her that I'm committed to making this work and proposed some common ground, decreasing the frequency of us contacting online to accommodate for our busy academic schedules and increasing the frequency of us meeting up in person, where I told her my willingness to visit her next week. That exchange has happened two days ago, and I have not heard back from her. I would understand her potential insistence on drifting apart but it puzzles me that she is not at least reaching out to give this any sort of closure. It's a time of uncertainty, and I have no idea how to respond. Waiting seems painful. Advice section. She floated the idea of the open relationship hoping you'd say it was okay, and she could be with the other guy, who she already has, so don't kid yourself, guilt-free. But you didn't go for it, so she had to be with him anyway. And she's obviously not mature enough to have a real discussion and just break up with you. So now she's gone no contact. You are 19 and in college. Forget she ever existed. Do well in school. And have fun with the thousands of other women you'll meet. Thanks for your reply. And yeah, your last lines are comforting. Haha. -ha. The comment is no joke. What she did is pretty crappy. And she knows how you feel about it. Yet goes silent. That's some psychological torture right there. Seriously, ditch her by removing all contact info. I'd say block, just for safety and bite this bullet. You don't have to be in a relationship you're not comfortable or happy with. She made her choice, so if revenge is your thing, just ignore her like she was never your girlfriend and keep looking forward. She has found someone else, someone local and available. You are perfectly in your rights to not want to be your backup plan. Let her go and don't look back. Mum, I get how that could easily be the case. Thing is, she told me that no other guy is involved. Duh. Cheaters lie. Sorry, OP. I agree, for you, the request was out of the blue, but she already knew who she wanted to sleep with. 
She just didn't want to cheat, and she wanted you to still be around in case it didn't work out with the other guy. Maybe you'll hear from her. Two days isn't very long. But I'd say there's definitely someone else in the picture. Yes, it seems highly unlikely that this is just a random mood swing caused out of nowhere. Story 2 Wayward Spouse said in our first counseling session that she wants to work on trust. I don't know what that looks like anymore. My wife of 17 years had an affair with my best friend that lasted a few months, I found out in January. We stayed in the same house and tried to reconcile until July. In July, she went on a trip that I asked her not to. I could tell she was emotionally gone already while she was traveling. I moved out. I tried multiple times to get her to realize the severity of her actions, and she was very checked out already. Fast forward to now, I have a nice apartment, sold my van for a two-seat sports car, crushing the gym, and all that jazz. I'm content with my life now. Two weeks ago, we had our first couple's counseling session. We were asked what we wanted to work on, and my wife responded with learning how to regain trust with BS. Other than that statement, the entire session was gaslighting, blame shifting, all the normal stuff that I've been dealing with for months. It was very sad to experience. I do want to give her a fair shake though. The therapist asked us to both work on gathering a set of goals and thinking about what trust looks like. I just don't know what trust looks like. Trust is not having an affair in the first place. Trust is being able to not give a second thought to my wife being around my friends without me being there. Trust is built over 17 years, not recovered in a few weeks or months. I took my wife off my phone plan because I didn't want to have to care about who she is texting. I opened my own bank account and removed myself from our joint account because I don't want to have to see where she spends money. I never ask her where she is or what she's doing. Initially, after I found out about the affair, the snooping consumed me. I learned that I would never have the answers I wanted, and I could either let it consume me or just move on. The concern I used to have for her and what she was doing pre-affair is just a dead space now in my mind. She's hovering around in my life, but not in the same way as before. It's really hard to formulate the words. Advice section. I'm curious why you're even doing couples counseling if you're already separated. It sounds like you attempted reconciliation and that failed. You've already started healing by getting away from her, so why would you put yourself through that again? Valid question. I don't have a good answer. I had hopes that she had actually decided to own the situation, but the session proved otherwise. Sounds like you have your answer. Sorry, OP. The realization that your marriage is over is really tough to go through. Best of luck to you. Other than that statement, the entire session was gaslighting, blame shifting, all the normal stuff that I've been dealing with for months. All you need to know is right here. You will be happiest with completing the separation and divorce. Yeah, it was extremely depressing to experience. The only joy I experienced was leaving the parking lot and doing the 0 to 60 pull on the interstate on-ramp in a car that will do it in 5.2 seconds. You know the truth. Why she wants to reconcile now, because you now have a lavish lifestyle and good money, and you are fit and young again. That's why she wanted her to be a part of your lavish lifestyle. Unfortunately, I'm afraid of this. Story 3 my 26M ex fiance 25 female, who left me five weeks ago, recently messaged me. She asked to pick up some things from the garage. Should I be there, or should I just leave the garage door open for her? As the title states, my fiance left me five weeks ago. We had been together for almost four years, and I am still completely devastated. The day she left me, I immediately initiated the no contact method. I knew that begging and professing my love would just make things worse. Anyway, she messaged me about two weeks ago, asking to come by and pick up some things she forgot in my garage. I have been out of town for work the past two weeks, so I am not able to be there to let her in. I know that she still has a key to my house, and I am surprised she isn't just going over there while I am out of town. I would think that would be the perfect opportunity for her to pick up her things and be on her way. Anyway, 
I messaged her and explained that I was out of town for work. She then said to let her know when I am back, so she can come by and get her things. Before I left, I took inventory of everything left in my garage slash house that is hers. I didn't find anything besides an old pair of gardening gloves in a bag that I haven't seen her use in about three years. I feel like she wants me to be there. I don't believe she has good intentions though. I have a feeling that she just wants to see if I am still hung up on her and sad, which I definitely am. I don't think she expected me to go no contact and be a complete ghost on all social media. Should I be there when she picks up her things, or should I just leave the garage door open for her and leave? I am still madly in love with her, and I want to see her again. At the same time though, I think seeing her in person act cold towards me would hurt me so badly. I have a feeling she is going to act cold, unbothered, and mean. This would absolutely crush me. I still love her so much, and I want her back. If I see her though, I will probably cry and beg her to come back, and I know that is not going to help matters. I am still so hurt, and I don't know if I would be able to control my sad emotions seeing her in person. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Advice section. Have a friend drop her stuff in front of her door. Have a friend drop off her things and change your locks. Just tell her it's not a good idea for her to swing by your place, and it's more comfortable for you to have her things dropped off and leave it at that. Say you don't have time for it, lots of things to do. You could wash your hair, bleach your anus, use an old toothbrush to clean the cracks in the kitchen floor, or just sit and watch TV. The demands on your time are endless. If she doesn't like it, she can kiss your freshly bleached butt. Put her things outside, like the backyard, and change your locks. Then tell her where they are, and she can pick them up on a specific day. You are correct that she just wants to see you in a miserable state to find out if you still care. Don't give her the satisfaction. It is doubtful if you see her that it won't be obvious you are still in pain, unless you are an incredible actor. She also probably wants to rub your nose in whatever new relationship she is going on. Maintain no contact, text her for a list of stuff, and have someone drop it off. Or, if you are comfortable, she won't accidentally take something that she shouldn't. Have a friend meet her at your house, and note what she takes. If she takes something she isn't supposed to, it will just set up a future oops, we need to meet for me to return this thing situation. I completely agree. I think she wants to see if I am still devastated and hung up on her, which I honestly am. I don't think she would take anything that isn't hers. I am just wondering if this could be my opportunity to win her back. You don't say why she left, so I have no idea whether it can be worked out. In general, I am highly skeptical that a relationship can be repaired if one party is willing to just walk away and leave. She told me that she had lost emotional attraction to me about two and a half months ago. I was completely blindsided. For about a month, I did everything I could to try to make her emotionally attracted again. We went on vacations, nice dates, I was positive and affectionate, and spontaneous. One night, after dinner at her favorite sushi place, we were driving home, and she blew up on me for no reason. She got mad because I turned up the radio. We weren't mid-conversation at the time or anything. When we got home, she said that she was done. I think she wanted to leave me for a few weeks. She had a few drinks that night, so maybe that gave her the courage to blow up over nothing so she could have an excuse to leave. And that's the end of our video, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updated on the latest videos.